Jokes community, welcome to our weekly news and market update video. We will start right away with the news and the decree co-founder explains why the BDCs will have an effect on the crypto market and which effects can be seen. So all in all, a lot of companies are saying that the BDCs will come. So this will be central bank digital currencies and these are an answer to cryptocurrencies but of course they are regulated they're controlled by a, a country a government and so they are not likely like cryptos so they will coexist with bitcoin ethereum and co but what is quite interesting is that we can see that um, based on cryptocurrencies being demonstrably fairer with the deterministic issuance schedules and self-custodied assets um that they won't be affected by CBDCs, uh, which are just digital fiat money. But what we will see is that if stable coins like USDT and USDC will not change their function a little bit, we can see that people could use the CBDCs to enter regulated platforms that may huge institutionals are using CBDCs in the future to invest and not just going the way through stablecoins due to, to be honest, stablecoins are um, just um, something you need to go into the crypto market and it's providing liquidity at the first step to enter the market but you don't want to hold it long term so you want to use it with the use case and if the CBDC can do this regulated maybe stable coins could lose this fight exchange is running out of ethereum with resurface plunging 27 percent in 48 hours this means people holding ethereum long term offline not on exchanges this is quite bullish for ethereum and here is a good article from alex saunders he is showing that the reserve on all known exchanges dropped from 12 to 10 million this is a loss of you know around 20 percent and now the market from this 10 million reserve just dropped to 8 million within a few days so this is quite interesting first of all we saw a um, decline of ethereum exchanges over a long period of time and now within two days people holding it off cold start people seeing a DeFi hype usdc is more and more used we can see that ethereum may will be the next major um bull market after bitcoin now rose so much and alex Saunders is saying he thinks people looking for targets of 5k 10k and not want to sell in this range right now and though over here quite the bullish news for ethereum jp morgan uh, face how stable coins are, are working what the crypto competition is all about and how do they th themselves so in um, q4 earnings calls the ceo and uh, the cfo of jp morgan uh said that or got to know that otc's approval of banks using stable coins for payments uh, won't change anything for jp morgan and the guidance that um, offering of stable coins going on a public blockchain uh, won't affect JP Morgan coin. Um, so JP Morgan coin for now is only used on the back end. JP Morgan coin is only used for internal transaction. It's having a huge volume. It's having um, a huge use case with around nearly six trillion dollars uh, per day. But if they want to go um public with this coin is not out yet so it's obviously very early in the crypto market we will assess use cases and customers demand but it's still too early to see where this goes for us uh, saying some um, people from jp morgan so we can see that um there will be uh, several banks having digital currencies and stuff like this so um he's expecting or diamond is expecting um that this stuff is coming and may not change our world that much so here all in all what we can see is jp morgan is working hard with this digital currency they are really want to push forward something but if they want to go public or not um is not out yet all in all if jp morgan is using already 
the own own coin uh, at the back end token to have faster transaction faster payment this of course is a use case for cryptocurrencies and this is quite bullish for the overall fundamental view we're taking a look on the seven day performance we can see that bitcoin ethereum everything seems to be up um but of course it's not um that bullish how it seems i will show it uh, to you in a few seconds but all in all what we can see the DeFi hype was real we think dot doubled the price as well link went up 50 percent and everything else seems to be quite bullish after the dips but what we as well need to mention that the market cap just rose from 950 a billion to nearly one trillion so the upswing is not that huge even if we think that we bottomed out to a top and then saw as well a small decline again visible over here if you're taking a look on the last uh, seven to ten days it's obviously that we are in the greens due to seven days ago we were around here so based from these levels this of course is a higher level we are right now but if we're taking a look on the former highs we can see that after we build it this top at around uh, 41,500 the market just dropped and saw uh, a huge uh, sell-off the sell-off was nearly 25% we then build it a support down here um, at 31k uh, and then the market just broke out of this uh, huge um, downwards movement what we as well can see is that we build it on a negative trend line so to speak um, with this lower high the first lower high uh, since very long time and what we as well see that we're now building again higher supports this is underlining the bullish overall market movement um, but this is why on the seven day performance the market seems to be very bullish but all in all, the market is not that bullish. We are quite far away from the all-time high. If I'm taking a look from the hourly close of the all-time high, it's still more than 10%. Um, the counter movements are very strong. We're seeing a counter movement here in Bitcoin of around 26%. And then as well, a decline again of around 15% uh, and, and stuff like this. So if you're trading this with a tight stop loss, you would uh, just uh, washed out of this market over and over again, may not using the counter movements and stuff like this. So um, be prepared. Uh, the RSI for now is quite bullish in the one hour chart. The market just bottomed out uh, from this local support. Support. if we are holding this local support we still can retest this trend line if we breaking through this trend line we as well can touch the higher levels again but for now it's important to have an eye on the support at around 34k uh, 32 500 and then last but not least at around uh, 31k if we dropping down to levels around 20 um, x it could be a beer market for now but for really for now the market not seem that bearish uh the market is holding these levels quite nicely we're always bottoming out again um we're seeing still good volume in this market the tether stuff um, brought nothing bad to the market no one uh was very frightened and stuff like this but if you're investing now keep an eye it's only 10 percent to the old all-time high if we're not seeing a huge green bull candle an investment of course is always risky may other coins are better to invest now or wait for a dip but all in all the market seems to be very healthy and bullish i hope you like this video if you do so i would love you to comment like or share this video and we will hear us next time when it comes to weekly crypto news and market update provided by t -Rox.